day everyone, the woman that you can see in your screen, no other than me, Slarly Navida, taking up the course Bachelor of Elementary Education and I'm currently now in the second year college and I am studying at Cebu Technological University, Cebu City Mountain Satellite Campus, located in the mountain barangays, Malmawan, Babag, Cebu City. If you are wondering what's my video it's all about, so well, it's all about the method and teaching that I'm going to choose. So it is our requirements in the course teaching arts in the elementary grades and handled by our very own professor, Professor Vincent Cabales. Before I formally start the method that I'm going to choose, let me share a quote that really inspired me and to do so. It is from Macy Jamison, the first American woman astronaut. She said that don't let anyone rob you in your imagination, your creativity, or your curiosity. It is your place in the world. It is your life. Go on and do all you can with it and make it the life you want to live. So hi guys, so I have four questions that I'm going to talk about in this video. So first is, what method did I choose, in method in teaching, why you choose it, and how important the effect is the method you choose, and of course the pros and cons. Then I will make it as a Q&A portion. Hello Lorleen, good day. So give me a few minutes to ask this question. So first question, Laureline. What method in teaching you are in favor? Well, I choose the learner-centered method. Why you choose that method, Laureline? I choose this method because it is have the two-way process, whereas teacher is both a teacher and a learner at the same time, which can be a good thing for a teacher as she is the source or the facilitator of the class. Yet, it is the time that the students shine since the spotlight is in them. They can express and enhance their abilities in creating or discovering with their own, which lead them to better expand their knowledge as they focus with their own to seek the information, of course, with the help of the guide and the guidance of a teacher. Thank you, Laureline. Very impressive answer. So next question, Laureline. Can you please say state that how, how important and effective the method you choose, which is the learner-centered method? This method is very essential, especially for adult teaching environment, for many reasons. One of it, it helps to develop learners to stand with their own to become an independent student. As what I've said to you in my first answer, sir, why I choose this? It helps the students to develop skills that will better equip with their for their professional career soon. I know or you know and everybody know that the ultimate objective of learner-centered teaching is to develop the autonomy of the learner, foster creativity and problem-solving competencies and enable lifelong learners. Oh, wow. As a future educator, Miss Norlin, can you please tell us the pros and cons regarding to your chosen method in teaching? Thank you so much. Okay, I will give four pros and four cons about learner-centered method. Let's start with the pros about learner-centered method. First, education becomes more shared experience between the instructor and the students and between the student themselves. Second, students build both collaboration and communication skills. And the third one, students tend to be more interested in learning when they can interact with and one another and participate actively in their own education. Then the fourth one, members of the class learn to work independently and to interact with others as part of the learner process. Four cons of learning-centered method. So the First one is, with students free to interact in the classroom space can feel noisy or chaotic. And the second one, classroom management can be 
become more of an issue for the teacher, possibly cutting into instructional activities. And the third one, with less focus on lectures, they can be a concern that same students may miss important information. And the fourth one, true collaboration is considered beneficial. This approach may not feel ideal for students who prefer to work alone. Thank you so much, Ms. Lori Novida, for spending time and for granting our request to have a question and answer in regards to method in teaching. Have a blessed day. Thank you so much. Be all the um, question and portion acting with Mr. D. So actually, I make a um, question and answer for this so that it will be creative and of course, um, there would be an interaction. Even though we experience the pandemic nowadays, we are dealing with a new normal setting in terms of our study. So that would be all. Once again, I am Laurelyn Nubida taking up the course Bachelor of Elementary Education. So Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.